My name is Jamie Davison, and welcome to the first ever review for 2024. And to start things off, we are going to be doing a review on a Brum fan made series which is called Lego Brum by MickeyFan909. So, Lego Brum. I, I, I don't even know where to start. I love this series. Seriously, it is so good, and I'm going to explain why I love this series. One thing I absolutely adore about this series is the intro. I mean, it's basically a mixture of both the season 1 and 2 theme and the season 3 theme. Like, for example, it does have the season 1 to 2 theme, but it does have Brom Season 3 sound effects, so I'm counting it as a mixture. But if you don't count it as a mixture, that's absolutely fine. Another thing that I really love about it is the Brom model. Seriously, look how accurate it is. Although, there are some missing details. Like, for example, Brom's starting angle is not there, his lighting plate is just weird numbers, and his bonnet arm isn't there, or radiator cap. And not to mention, his screw hubs, who are actually those bits by the way, but if you know what they're actually called, let me know in the comments below, are really big and pretty silver. However, this did get fixed in episode 5, which I hope will happen onwards too, Another thing that I really love about the series, which will actually be the final one by the way, is the models. I mean, look at the models. They are so accurate. And fun fact, these models are actually made by Mickey Fan himself. How impressive is that? I could even make the whole Star Fleet. Now, that mate is impressive. Although... There are some Lego models that I use for playsets, like the Mickey Mouse characters, and not to mention the MLB characters at PM and G, mainly because they probably don't have any Lego models, which I understand. Now then, about the episodes. I've got to be honest, I don't have a favourite or a least favourite. Like, I just love all the episodes equally, they are legit a masterpiece, and I legit enjoy them. And just a bonus one, I'm going to talk about the voices. The voices for this series are really good, but I think the best voices, are my, in my opinion, are Brom, Thomas, and many other characters that I could go on and on and on about. But unfortunately, we would wait till Christmas, so sorry about that. So overall, Lego Brum is actually an improvement over the original series. Yes, you're hearing me correctly. This series is an improvement over the original, mainly because of the voices, the characters, and I don't even know. I just love everything about this. So, hands down, it's giving a 10 out of 10. No, 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 no. Not a 10 out of 10. A hundred and out of a hundred. Definitely one of the best fan made Brom series. And I actually think it's the best one of them all. Well, besides this one, even though I actually made it myself. Okay, everyone, this brings us to the end of another review video. Uh, I really do apologise if this one was kind of short. I know I keep on saying this in my review videos, but for most of my reviews, they're actually pretty long. <laughs> but still, this is actually a pretty short one. Because while I really, 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 really love Lego Brum, I unfortunately couldn't say much. Otherwise, the video might get pretty boring. So, Mickey fan, if you're watching this video, I do apologise that this is short. But apart from that, I hope you all enjoy this video. And I'll see you in the next one. And I'll see you all in my birthday video. 
And oh yes, Mickey, if you're watching this video, good luck with episode 6.